We need two envelopes. Sheila gunn -Reed for Rebel News here in beautiful Regina, Saskatchewan, and I'm here today on a very important mission. I drove seven hours plus to get here, and I will drive seven hours plus home. But I must do what I said I would do, and that is drop off your names and signatures that you added to a very special petition at StopClassroomGrooming.com. Now, that petition calls on school boards and education ministries all across this country to protect parental rights and parental consent and to prevent activist teachers from using the nation's classrooms as their mad scientist laboratories with which to infect other people people's children with the mind virus of gender confusion. Now, I'm not here to do what I normally do with these petition drop-offs, and that is to remind the bad guys <laughs> that thousands of normal people disagree with them. I'm here in Saskatchewan to do something somewhat disorienting for me after the last three years, and that is to offer moral support to a government that is doing the difficult but absolutely right thing. And this time they're protecting parents' rights in the education system. Premier Scott Moe and his Saskatchewan Education Minister Jeremy Cockrell have started a complete and total re-examination of materials used in Saskatchewan classrooms because, well, the government is actually listening to the parents, which means the unions are mad, the activists are absolutely outraged, but parents are finally being recognized as the first best educators of their children. And Moe has even threatened to invoke the constitutional nuclear option of the notwithstanding clause to override the activist courts if that's where this issue ultimately ends up. And so I'm here today to give the Saskatchewan government nearly 40,000 names of concerned Canadians, both from Saskatchewan, but from all across this country, who are cheering for Saskatchewan to carry on in the right direction. So let's go drop this petition off and tell the government of Saskatchewan thanks for leading the way and to fight on so that other provinces might find the courage to do the right thing also. Excuse me. Would you mind? Let's have someone coming through for something. Oh, for sure. I'm just going to ask you. Remote, we're leaving. We're leaving. Yeah, I just might need a second envelope. Oh. You need a bigger envelope. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's just a rule of the building. You can take pictures, but you can't. Okay. We got it off. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thanks, yeah. ladies. Got it. Hey. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Go Saskatchewan. Okay, so, so that was weird. We had a warm reception from security. And then? And then we were able to applaud a politician for doing the right thing and deliver the names of nearly 40,000 Canadians to Education Minister Jeremy Cockrell here in Saskatchewan to tell him to fight on, to resist the lies of the mainstream media and the union activists and the trans activists and the teachers who think they co-parent with other people's kids. He needs to know that Canadians need him to fight on because the courage happening behind the, these doors here at the legislature building in Regina hopefully is infectious and it catches on in other provinces. Well, there you have it. I did what I said I would do. And this is special for me as a mom of three kids, but also as someone who spends their time fighting with the government every day. It's good for me to agree with the government once in a while. And it feels very good to help parents get a win. Now, we're done dropping off this petition, but we still have to drop it off to some of the bad guys who are doing the wrong thing by the nation's parents. So if you want to add your name to that list of nearly 40,000 parents and Canadians, you can at stopclassroomgrooming.com.